bolt, you can power the hand cannon with the function range. Oh. Okay. Uh, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm going to be using the Prophecy Dungeon 140 hand cannon for the judgment. So, because I've been running through and I've been using weapons from previous years, Shadow Keep being the main one that I've used a lot of weapons from, I stumbled upon Judgment. And so Judgment, once I stumbled upon it, I found it has actually very good PvP rolls if you get the right perks. It has an identical perk or a, an identical role to the ancient gospel I used yesterday. The role I have here is moving target, opening shot. So here, let's pull this up for you. This is my role on it, and this is the role that I've been using. But this hand cannon has roles like encore, opening shot, encore, adagio, Encore, Adrenaline Junkie, and Rolls of the Light. And so my preferred role that I would like to go for is going to be Slide Shot Adrenaline Junkie because Slide Shot gives me the range, about 84 range, and about 77 stability. And then Adrenaline Junkie gives me plus 20 handling, which helps with the slightly lower handling stat on this hand cannon. Dang. So, that's going to be my preferred role to go and get. However, my luck with RNG is not great. RNG is never kind. I got one roll of the hand cannon, and then every other time I ran the dungeon, I ended up running into... There was a greater concentration of Scions, taken Scions, that I ended up having to deal with, but then they got the better of me, or the boss would throw me off the map, making it really hard for me to well, farm the weapon that I've been trying to get. Especially since I don't see a lot of people running Prophecy anymore because there are, at the moment, better dungeons. So. And, like, with the better dungeons aspect, there are currently no intrinsics on these, so why would people go out and farm for something that doesn't have an intrinsic when there are versions of it, or hand cannons, like the Last Wish hand cannon that just got craftable rolls and has an intrinsic. Well, with this being an almost identical to the previous... essentially an analog in the kinetic slot for the ancient gospel, that's essentially my entire reason for trying to get this. Because that is my preferred way to play with a hand cam is to just slide around, gain damage, to help me push out my range more consistently, artificially, through a damage perk. So. And it has Adrenaline Junkie, which gives you the extra benefit of the handling bump when you get that first kill. So that's my reason for wanting to use this over the other one because it has that extra bit of util that ancient gospel just doesn't have due to the fact that it doesn't have a journal it's a perfectly fine hand cannon i just do wish that it did come with journal junkie as an option as well because then these would be completely identical analogs for the different columns. One thing that does make this one kind of nicer than Ancient Gospel is it is a kinetic, so you can have the option of osmosis. Okay. Which for me, I think, is really nice to have. 
because osmosis allows you the ability to use it on stasis and then create uh, diamond lances. Which for me, diamond lances, that is a playstyle that I like to play and I like to run. And so for me, having the option to do that is great. little bit more here. He's up. So that's where I think this one shines just a little bit more than the other. But it's such a niche little perk selection that not a lot of people would look at it and go, oh yeah. That seems like a great idea. I do also think that Encore, if I was going to do Osmosis, would I think be the better option to give me more sustainable uh, long range play. Because then all you have to do is just keep killing and just make sure that you're doing it at least somewhat consistently, and then you'll have 80 range and I think 70, almost 80 stability, reprocable and consistent, just after kill. I do kind of wish that Encore was in the 4th column, and or Slideshot was in the 4th column, so you could have both, because if you had the option of both, you could have a hand cannon with 100 range. Always after I get it. That's what happens. Well, as you can see, right there, just in this little intro space here. It's a great feeling, 140. The frame is fairly com compact, so you can still see anything around it. It's nice sounding. It's got... He's got what, six perks in each column, so just a little bit more than Garden of Salvation, the Infant Gospel. So you have just a little bit more RNG to mess with. But it also drops in an encounter in the dungeon. And the dungeon is farmable. Which does also help this hand cannon out. So I was trying to farm it earlier, yes, I think it was yesterday. And so, when I was doing it, come on teammate, there we go. So when I was farming it, I was doing... I had some runs that didn't RNG my way, and so the boss would eat me off the ledge, that would cause me to lose my progress, I wouldn't be able to one or two phase the boss, so I'd be stuck with a sliver of health at the end of the encounter going, well, I guess I'm kind of stuck at this point. Yeah, why well, try to fight a well? You don't fight wells. Unless you can take out the well itself, and then, yes, you can. The majority of the time, you don't fight wells. super well there. Going into another match here, we're using Judgment and Omniscient Eye, or Omniscient Eye, but I prefer to say Omniscient A. So if you hear me say that, I'm referencing the sniper. Magic there. Teammates also going around for the kills. I 
I don't have that kind of range. Let's have a try and play around the side here. So on the topic yesterday, I mentioned a lot of potential like world-based artifice armor that could give you stats, maybe different effects for your armor or grenades potentially. So one of which potentially being, or uh, I had a comment yesterday saying, I think it was today actually. Uh, saying something along the lines of what if this potential world artifice armor could augment grenades and so augmenting grenades as potentially some of your grenades have a an effect akin to ash and wake so your flux grenades your magnetic grenades all of those all kind of gain this this effect of detonation on impact. Maybe it's something where incendiaries or magnetics, or not magnetic suppressors, detonate on impact. I can imagine a suppressor that detonates on impact being a very powerful and most likely a fan favorite grenade. Because of the potential super shutdowns, the ability to just, oh yeah, let me just throw it down. That would be, in my opinion, kind of a fun thing to have around. I think they would have to, if this was the case, it would have to augment grenade ability recharge. Because that would be a very powerful ability that could could break PvP more than, well, yeah, let's be real here. PvP is kind of a broke as it's going to get. I didn't move. I wasn't supposed to die, but I got slowed. My team just does not want to capture zones here. Oh, one guy went for it, but paid for it. Right, so it's looking like this match is going to be a very quick one. If this continues the way that it is. Um, something that Bungie could potentially add if they did this artifice armor, uh, like I was mentioning yesterday, flint resist armor, AE armor, um, maybe targeting armor, but then this targeting armor is specifically based around your subclass, so then maybe you could maybe get so then maybe you could maybe... Hmm. Yes. Good English. So you could potentially have one built-in targeting mods for, let's say, if I'm using Omnis uh, Omniscient Eye here on Solar and my helmet is an Artifice targeting, it would give me solar targeting. And so then I would have one solar targeting, or maybe it's a... Oh, what was it? Maybe it's an intrinsic... Multi-kills create orbs that match for weapons that match your subclass type. So now I could use... So a siphon mod built into my helmet. Maybe my gauntlets... And maybe this is how they do it. Maybe helmets have the ability to switch between a siphon and a targeting, but it's a 
subclass tied one. So it's like the um, it's like the harmonic. So then you get a free harmonic siphon then. So now that you've got a free instead of a recovery forged armor, you've got a, a siphon forged armor. Or siphon forged or a targeting forged or maybe a an ammo finder forged or something of that nature. Or so maybe some of these one tier perks. Maybe ashes to assets is a little too powerful. Hands on, too powerful. Power preservation, still too powerful. But if you get siphon and you get targeting, then you've got the ability to do a heavy ammo finder, maybe a heavy ammo scout. Or you can do powerful friends or radiant light. Or you could keep Font of Wisdom, and then put on Special Ammo Finder and maybe Powerful Friends. Now you've got that. Or you could do four Siphons, if you so chose. I think for Helmets, that could be a very welcome change. Because then I'm not having to give up... Because for me right now, I'm already giving up a Siphon mod slot for my weapons. So if I could have the potential to build into my energy weapons, or maybe my stasis weapons more, or my strand weapons, so yes, kinetics would kind of be left in the dust. That's kind of how it is. Unless we were to get a kinetic subclass for whatever reason, I don't think we are. It would be elemental-based weapons. So stasis and strand would have some really good synergies there, because then you've got weapons that you've got the new rocket from the dungeon, the Ghost of the Deep that you could use there with that, and then so gauntlets, let's say maybe a reloader or maybe a a dexterity but again, it's tied to your subclass maybe your chest plate maybe that one's for flinch and then your boots are for AE, and then your mark. Hmm. What would you do on the mark if you do that? I don't know what would fit well on the mark if you do this kind of a... Oh, a setup. Because a chest plate is flint resist, and you can build into it just a little bit more. Maybe it's like a 15% flint resist or a 20% flint resist added on top of whatever flint resist you've already got. That could be kind of fun. And so then you can maybe add 15 AE off of your boots, so then maybe you don't have to use... Maybe you don't feel like you have to use then the Icarus script mod, because Icarus is in itself a 15 AE mod. And so then at that point, I would probably put on hip fire grip. Make my weapons just a little bit more consistent from firing from the hip. Allowing me to fight more close range a little easier. So my auto rifles would feel better, my pulse rifles would feel just a little better, maybe. Something like that. Um, maybe you leave the mark as your dungeon artifice armor that modifies your stats. And so then at that point, you've got armor that will affect gameplay, but in a small, yet somewhat meaningful way. So you're not completely stuck with potentially the same old build constantly.
So I think adding something that was subclass related, like maybe adding an aspect point, or like an intrinsic armor that gives you an aspect for free. That would be a little too powerful. Because could you imagine Arc Titans being able to run all three? Especially in their current state, that would be terrifying to see. So then back to the hand cannon. Kind of, for a minute here. I've been enjoying this role, the moving target opening shot. I think I would enjoy it more if I had maybe Encore with opening shot. Or like I was saying, the Encore Daggio or the Encore Osmosis. I think my preferred is definitely going to be Slide Shot Adrenaline Junkie though giving me those higher stats just for sliding and just for getting that kill and then being able to keep topping my mag off so I'm not always fighting with one round of the magazine left. That way I'm always fighting with maybe five bullets, maybe seven bullets, or always ten. Engagement here for a minute. We'll get rid of that grenade there. Where did the power go? Probably fell off the map, didn't it? Live here. All right. Yeah, so that's kind of my ideas for what intrinsics could be. Let's kind of bring that and leave it open ended and pass it to the next one. Ooh. Ooh. That wasn't supposed to happen. Didn't think I'd be getting shattered over and Year six. I guess for this video, uh, go and leave a comment. Have you ever hit your own hip fire headshots with snipers? Or is it just one of those one in a whatever chance things that just never happens?
we got a lot of them there. Zones are going to be there, so this is going to be brought more towards a close ish match here. such pain that melees go through barricades, they don't stop at the barricade. Cool to see someone using Manticore. I've seen a few of them, surprisingly. But I don't think people use it a whole lot because it's that different RPM. Ooh, couldn't see nothing there. See what they've got. Can I maybe grab the power ammo before someone gets here? There we go. Throw that. That's oh, pain that we're defeated, but you know what? It was a pretty solid match. So I'm perfectly okay with it. And besides, we already had a match earlier where we got a Wii Ran with this hand cannon, so this one I was just kind of talking more in... a little more in depth with the idea of potential intrinsic traits for armor. So. It's a cool idea. It would have to get traction with Bungie, and I don't think it will get traction, because something like that... This would hit, this would take probably years to implement. That's assuming they actually do this. So, for right now, it's a cool idea. We can talk about it, we can brainstorm, theorize. There's some amazing builds that could come about a more in-depth armor system like that. But, for now, I think I'm going to leave it at that, so go ahead and share this video around if it was enjoyable. Um, go ahead and give it a like, comment, sub, all that. Y'all have a good re rest of your day, and enjoy summer.